But first, Joy Wang is live at the high court where demonstrators have been camped out all night long in the rain. Good morning, Joy. Good morning. Yeah, we're saying all night, but I just spoke with the organizer who tells me they've been here since two o'clock yesterday afternoon. You can see them all lined up, ready to go inside. Now, organizers telling me that they're expected to talk about their own experience today with student debt at a rally outside, explaining why debt cancellation is a racial justice issue. In fact, I spoke with a student from Michigan who you're going to hear from in just a bit. But again, look at the long line out here this morning people waiting here since yesterday afternoon ahead of the hearing today with a decision not expected for months we're talking this summer now depending on that outcome millions of student loan borrowers could see up to twenty thousand dollars of their debt canceled as for when federal student loan payments will start that will depend on how and when the justices rule payments have been paused for almost three years now because of the pandemic President Biden announced the targeted student loan forgiveness program last August, which was put on hold by lower courts. A latest poll shows 53% of Americans approve the plan, while 43% are against it. For me, it kind of goes back to the issue of how housing is one of the ways in which we can create generational wealth. Um, and I think for us as African Americans within the society, that is something historically that we have not been able to do. And so now today with things like the student loan crisis, it kind of perpetuates those issues. It's not everything, but it would certainly help a lot and relieve a lot of that burden. People knew what they were doing when they signed it and uh, they should pay it off. You heard from a number of people about this issue. Now, though, check out your screen because we want to break down some numbers for you to show just how big the impact this decision could make. One in six adults here in the U.S. hold some sort of federal student loan debt. By the way, we do know that 26 million people have applied with 16 approved for cancellation. Live just outside the Supreme Court, Joy Wang, 7 News.